What's up guys, this is Joseph with TC Studios. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to make a professional product video. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Before we get started into the process of making the video, we wanna show you a little bit of our setup. So starting with the whole entire video itself, we want to have a nice black backdrop. So I went with this uh, pretty cheap stand and we have this blanket over it. Now, there are options like black cloth, but we chose to use a blanket because we have this window back here, which although it's closed, it allows some light in, and it's not gonna give us a nice black background. Now, the real secret in getting a perfect pitch black background is the distance away where your, the distance from your subjects to the background. So, for our setup, for example, we have our actual product that's going to be here and we have a good amount of distance away from from it and the reason why this is so critical is because you have lights you have a lot of lights that are shining you have things that are shining in the background and that's not going to give you a black backdrop now as you can see ours is clearly not perfect there's still some light leakage but it's very minimal and because our light is so bright here in the center we're going to expose our product really well to the point where the background will become underexposed and we'll use that to our advantage. Now, coming here with our entire lighting setup, we have a very basic lighting setup. We have four lights here in total. We have two that are in the front. This is to shine on the front of the products and two that are on the back. These are bigger panels. All these are LED panels with CRI of 90% and more, which is very critical in giving you that rich color. Um, so we have uh, two on the back here, which we decided to point it this way, and we made sure to use these um, these little flaps to our advantage. If we don't use these little flaps, we'll get more light leakage. So we, we use these flaps to our advantage here, and this these two are kind of pointed up towards the object, and these two are just towards the front of the object, and this gives, uh, this gives a very nice three-dimensional look. Now all these are dimmable, so once we put our object objects uh, in front, we can kind of see how um, how much we want to dim it by. Now, you can select the channel of these lights. So these two are on the same channel, so they dim uh, in sync, they dim at the same time, and these two are on the same channel too. All right, so now that we have this set up, um, over here on the actual table, we have a turntable, and this will, when you place an object here, it will rotate, and we have a remote control where you can control the speed and timing of it. And this is a, this is a must have for, for any kind of uh, professional product video because you really get that professional look. All right, so coming down here to our camera, we're using the GH5S. Um, and we're gonna be recording 4K today because 4K gives us two times zoom capabilities when we upload it in 1080. Our clients typically just need 1080 video for their commercial work. So this gives us a lot of possibility to zoom in, to do a lot of scaling, a lot of rotation work without actually having to move the camera. Other setup might include a slider, which we have used in the past, but those require advanced follow focus uh, techniques to be able to get the fo focus correct. Um, and so we're just gonna be recording in 4K. We're not gonna do any log footage. We're just gonna use Rec. 709 because there's no real benefit to doing log footage. You're not really going to get that high dynamic range. You don't really need that high dynamic, dynamic range detail. So we're just gonna be doing, um, and it's a lot easier on the computer when we're editing, which there's already a lot of processing that we need to do when we load it in Premiere. So coming over here, we just have uh, a, well, you're gonna have to rotate. Coming over here, we just have a, uh, Simple little monitor here uh, at 1080, 16 by 9, and this will allow us to see anything. You can, you can see that it's, it's uh, very, very sharp, and that allows us to see focus. So we have focus peaking on, which allows us to see when things are in focus with the red lines on the sides, which is very useful. Now, I guess coming back here at the camera setup, we're using a Rockinon cinema lens, and I like Rockinon lenses because they're very, very sharp, very little chromatic aberration. The object that we are taking a video of today is very shiny, and typically that will induce a lot of chromatic aberration on cheap lenses. This lens, although affordable, does not give you that look of a cheap lens. Uh, it gives you decent color, a little bit lacking in the contrast, but you can easily boost that in Premiere uh, if you're shooting at high bit rate. Um, so we have a follow focus system here. Uh, this is the Tilta Nucleus uh, Remote Follow Focus, which is not necessary for, for this video, but I just have this for other projects. 
And I thought I'll use it here because why not? Um, the follow focus system goes like this. You have a little remote control and you can easily adjust the focus. We have a simple map box here. We might have to put um, we might have to put a cloth around it because this top map box is simply not enough since we have lights coming in from all, all the directions. And we're gonna be shooting at, when you do product video, you wanna be shooting at a pretty high f-stop. So usually anything above f4 or maybe even upwards of um, f8 if possible. It depends a lot on your lighting setup. You wanna be doing that because that will give you maximum sharpness, less chromatic aberration when you record at a higher f-stop. And, um, and it will also less bokeh, so a lot less blurry background, which you don't really want for a product video. You kind of want uh, everything around the object to be sharp. Uh, this is a 35 millimeter lens, so it gives us a very good amount of focal length. So we can be, we can be pretty far away, and it has a very nice minimum focus of, of uh, 0.3 meters. Uh, or one feet, one foot. So that is very, very close up. Um, that will give you some very nice macro, almost macro shots. If you really want to make it macro, of course, you take advantage of the 4K and you scale it in Premiere. And all this is on a Manfrotto fluid head, which doesn't really matter because, again, we're not really going to be doing any kind of movements and just a simple carbon fiber tripod. I do have this outlet connected um, to the actual camera. I do have a little battery system. This is a 12 to 8 volts converter and it goes to a 12 volt supply. This way we don't have to worry about batteries on set because it per on a professional shoot, when we're doing product videos and stuff, it can take hours and we don't want to be swapping batteries when we have this entire setup uh, ready to go. So that's the, overall the entire setup and uh, let's go over through how we prepare the products. So today we're going to be doing a product video for this uh, for this soda here, and um, uh, this really depends a lot on your products. But we have this little spray bottle that we're going to be we'll, we'll spray around it to give the um, give the illusion of um, of condensation that'll look pretty cool in video. And we're going to place our products here right smack in the center. Uh, we're going to be doing um, different kinds of shots. We'll be doing a wide shot like this where, well, I guess I should get my focus. All right, so we have a focus now. Now the focus peaking can get kind of annoying. Uh, it is important though, but we, I did put a function key on the GH5S so we can turn it off. You can see how, oops, not getting in front of the camera. You can see how crystal clear that is with all the droplets, and that's exactly what we want. And that's exactly what you get from shooting at a higher f-stop. Um, so I went ahead and uh, got a black cloth because we did notice a little bit of glare on our sides, which is making the background not perfectly dark. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this over the matte box. This is why you use a long focal length, or at least long focal length for this camera because it's uh, micro four thirds. Um, and now you can see that it's a lot darker. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're pretty much ready to go with this shot. A couple reminders again, make sure you use a lot of um, diffusion paper because if you have harsh lighting, no product looks good under harsh lighting. We're preparing for our next shots. We're just going to clean up this glass here. Uh, we want to pour the drink. This is not the clearest glass, but I still think we should be able to get the same effects that we want. Um, so we're not going to do any kind of rotation here. We're kind of just going to pour it in um, and see how that goes. So I guess we should probably mm, here. I'm just gonna open a drink and pour it in. Simple as that. Why is this so gross? Oh. All right, well, I guess we'll turn on the turntable. Hopefully not to spill anything.
So yeah, that's it for the filming part. Uh, and now you just put in all the files in Premiere. You can kind of play around with the cropping. Uh, we might do a tutorial about that in the future if you guys are interested. And yeah, that's it for this video. It's a very simple video that goes through the basics of a product video. You can add some more creativity to it. We just want to keep this as simple as possible and still produce a relatively nice video. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.